Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is fourth lecture in the series of lectures on chapter 10. And in this lecture, we will discuss few programming examples using PLC for automation in the industry. This lecture is devoted to the data manipulation programs. And when we say data manipulation program, this means that how we can use the data manipulation instructions to program PLC for the automation of industrial tasks. They can be some robotic tasks, they can be process integrity tasks, they can be home automation tasks, they can be monitoring and control of the networks like the electricity network, water distribution networks, uh, telephone data networks, and many other networks where we need automation. So here is the relay based automation circuit for a task. So here we have a solenoid A and there is a control relay. So this circuit is fundamentally for the interlocking. As soon as we click the start switch, so what will happen, this solenoid will be operated and the control relay will be excited and because of that, this contact will become closed and the timer will also start. Now, if we remove the contact from here, this path will be complete. So the timer will run for five seconds. So after five seconds, when this is closed, what will happen? Solenoid B will become on and also timer two. So timer two will become on. So after five seconds, the third solenoid will become activated and the third timer will become on and then the fourth timer so each of the solenoid like a b c and d will be activated after five seconds of the previous so now we want to do this automation using the plc this is the equivalent uh, program time delay circuit in the PLC. So we have two um, input switches and they are push type switches and normally they come like this. The green is to start and the red is to stop and this is an industrial standard in which we always start the machine by pressing the green switch and stopping it by red so after starting the machine if we press many times the green even then the machine will not start so what happens that as soon this is open in the normal case so as soon as we press the start push button this path will close solenoid a will become on and solenoid a has a contact in uh, or configuration with the start so after that the interlocking will happen and now what happened this contact we bring over here and the timer will start now this single timer is going to make five second difference for the rest of the solenoids so when this timer will run for five second first five second so what will happen like preset time is 15. So after first five second, when it become these two become five and five, solenoid B will be activated. After sun second, solenoid C will be activated. And we don't need greater than or equal logic for the third one. And here the timer when it become 15. So after 15 seconds, the third one will become on. So you may have noted that with using only one timer and the comparison instruction blocks, we can control the relays. So this is a, an optimal program because the number of timers are only one and the rest of the uh, logics are completed using just the greater than and equal instruction which are faster than using the 
tamer and they also take low resource uh, in the PLC uh, operation and in the memory as well. This is the simulation of the program just previously we discussed and you can see over here the same program so as soon as we press here this solenoid become on and here the time base is 0.1 so for the after 50 this one will on and after 100 this one will on and after 150 this solenoid will become on and they will on only in uh, for the full time like this one so this also become on now this is on so on this uh, page we are going to discuss about a plc timer program which will make the uh, pilot light on after running the program for five seconds and then it will remain on for 10 seconds from 5 to 15 then because of the unlatched this one will become unlatched so the latch will make it permanently on until and unless the pilot light is off so such circuit normally we use for blinking of the pilot lights of course the uh, blinking will start after energizing the selector switch S1. So such type of circuits you can use in many applications such as just before the start of the conveyor belt using the on the some siren of the police car and other things. So this type of circuits can be used in industry as well. So here is the simulation. So the circuit is uh, for first five seconds. After five seconds, it become on. It will remain on until 15 seconds. And at 15 seconds, it will become off. And after that, it will remain off for five seconds. this program this sensor will count the number of items flowing through this conveyor belt so the counter preset uh, number is 50 so what happens that whenever the number of items going from here are less than 20 the uh, conveyor belt is allowing them to pass but whenever they become equal to 20 or greater than 20 the solenoid will be operated and this path will close so this is a program you can use in similar programs you can use in many industrial applications so in rs logix 500 the program is somewhat like this osr is the one shot relay so just we look to this so here whenever the operation will start we count up to 19 this is on but as soon as it become 20 it will become off so it remain off up to 50 then This is an automation problem. In this problem, uh, what is happening like this machine is filling the these drums, containers. And whenever the weight become more than some required weight, the filling stops. So you have to write 
a program using RS Logix 500 to implement this algorithm. So think about this, how you can program it, practice for it. It will give you a lot of uh, skills practicing this problem for the automation of the industrial processes. Thank you very much.